Hi again from Apple Tree. I want to talk about vinyl and how to listen to vinyl with a low budget. This video is the first of four videos talking about different products. Let's start with why we are talking about this. Vinyl is getting more popular and there are two main reasons for that. One, more people think that analog is the best way to listen to music and two, young people think that vinyl is very hip and cool. I want to touch on both of these reasons and briefly put my two cents in. But let me get this clear. I'm not doing a debate about vinyl versus digital at all. I love them both and I believe they both have their place. Some recordings, especially the new ones, sound amazing on digital media if you are using a suitable file format and equipment. And there have been many times it sounded better than the corresponding vinyl album when we made A to B comparisons. The opposite is true for some other recordings. Yes, vinyl is a fantastic source for music as long as you have the proper record player and the phono stage. The rest of the system is the same for all sources, good amps, good speakers, etc. When we talk about the excellent turntable with a good tone arm and a good cartridge and also a sound, sound phono stage, we already hit thousands of dollars, if not tens of thousands of dollars, just for the vinyl playing part of our system. I have nothing against this though, I enjoy my system a lot. Here I want to talk about the systems that do not cost tons of cash but still serve the listener well. One may not want to allocate a lot of funds for their audio system or they want to listen to vinyl at the cottage or office and they want to have a budget good sounding system. Also, what would be a proper system for young people who are starting the listening journey or someone who thinks that it is cool to listen to vinyl. Listen, I love vinyl. It's a big part of my listening. So if you want to enter the vinyl world and keep your receipts hidden from your partner, and that, this is a very important point, don't forget, go for it, excellent. However, I want to warn everyone, young or old, who wants to have a simple, low-cost system you have to draw the line at a point. The vinyl itself is expensive. When you start to invest in your vinyl collection, you don't want to put them on a record player with a cost of about three, four vinyl records. You need to invest a little more. If you're not willing to do so, you are way better off to listening digital music from your CD player or Spotify and saving the money you will spend on the record player and better yet, the vinyl. Okay? This comment may get me into trouble, but I believe it is true. We listen to vinyl for its sound quality. If it's not going to sound great, why waste the money and effort on something inferior? So please give this a little extra thought before you go ahead and purchase yourself a record player. After getting this out of the way, let's go to the good news and the fun part. There are fantastic entry-level options out there for every budget. We will talk about here mainly the ones that amaze me with their performance at the price point. Let's start with Dual CS429 Fully Automatic Turntable, the one you see here. The reason I wanted to start with this is the fact that Dual is very nostalgic to me. It takes me back to my childhood. My dad purchased a Dual HS150 when I was in grade school. That Dual survived many years to the days I made mixtapes for all my friends using that HS150 in high school. My sister and I used it until I got myself a Pioneer table with an S arm in university. One more cool thing about Dual CS429 is it is fully automatic. 
Since the days I mentioned, I haven't touched a fully automatic table until I got this very guy. Dual is a German design product. It is made in China with the build quality that you expect from a German made product. It is very well made. Dual's history goes back to 1900s and in the 70s it was one of the ultimate audiophile units. Things happened to Dual for decades, they disappeared, they came back and now they are back with a big bang. I'm not getting into the specifications here. They're available all over the net. I want to highlight the things I love about this table. Of course, number one thing is sound. Who cares about the numbers if this thing sucks? So here's what I did. Since this is an entry level table, I wanted to try it with an entry level setup. So no external phono stage, no upgraded cartridge, no fancy amplifier. I put together a system that I thought would match the price point. I used a Music Hall A15.3 amplifier, integrated amplifier. As a speaker, I tried KLH Model 3 and also KLH Albany 2 bookshelves. This is the turntable, as you know. It has a factory installed Orthophone Red 2M cartridge. And that was the setup. Dual has a built in phono preamplifier. And so does the Music Hall integrated amplifier I used. Therefore, I tried both scenarios. The table sounded very good with the setup. And I was seriously surprised. Very open, transparent. The bottom end was perfectly satisfactory and controlled. Top end was not overwhelming. And Santana's guitar and vocals were bang on in the mid-range. So that convinced me that CS429 Dual is a table I can comfortably recommend to everyone from people who are starting to the people who are setting up a secondary system without spending a lot. I used the Music Hall's phono input for the first part of my listening and then switched to Dual's line output. You can easily switch between the phono and line outputs in Dual by a button at the back of the, uh, of the uh, platter. Plinth, it is. <laughs> On Dual's phono preamplifier, so the, the uh, line output, we lost some detail. The bottom end was still pretty good and enjoyable. However, Dual's built-in phono preamplifier has lower output than the music hall. Therefore, I had to turn up the volume quite a bit. So in the end, even with this built-in phono stage, this record player is an excellent choice from the essential standpoint, which is, which is sound. Definitely sounds better with an external phono stage. Now let's have a quickly look at some cool features that this guy has. Fully automatic, super cool. Just press the button and it goes and plays very accurately. If you don't want to use it automatically, just use it manually. There's a cue lever and you can place it wherever you want and listen to the record. Here at the uh, bottom of the tone arm, there's a little switch between 17 and 13 centimeters records. So 13 centimeters records are the, the typical long playing records. But if you still have 17 centimeters records, you can set it up to 17 centimeters and it automatically goes to the right spot and plays. When your record is finished, you don't have to run back. It just lifts and goes back to the rest spot. That is phenomenal. This is a big issue for me on the higher end tables. And I cannot thank Integrity Hi-Fi enough for coming up with that little true lift. This guy has a detachable head shell. Now this is super cool, even for the high end tone arms. Changing your cartridge, takes about five minutes or less if you have the Nasotech tweezers to pull the leads out. It has a fixed 
azimuth, though it is pretty good as it is, so doesn't bother me at all. The rubber mat is as good as the aftermarket ones, pretty heavy and seems like it absorbs quite a bit of vibration. Setup is super easy. Just put the head shell in place, place the platter and install the belt using the holes on the platter. Install the dust cover and I guess the most complicated step is to adjust the tracking force if you're not familiar with it. The recommended tracking force for this uh, cartridge is between 1.6 to 2 grams. If I'm not wrong, it should be there. I set it to 1.8 grams. If you're very ambitious, try different tracking force settings within this range and see what you like. If you don't have a tracking force scale, definitely go ahead and spend $10, $20 and grab one of these guys. It is very convenient to have for an accurate measurement. If you want something even cooler, you can go and find yourself one of these vintage ones. This is a Shure. And it's so much fun to play with this. Anyway. If you don't have a scale, let's see how to set the tracking force on this table manually. First, place the counterweight on the arm. Open the lock and make sure that the lever is down. Turn the counterweight until the arm floats freely. When you're sure that the arm is balanced and floating, turn the ring scale on the counterweight until zero lines up with the line on the tone arm. After this, turn your ring on the counterweight to the desired tracking force. In this case, 1.8. And you're done. That's it. I manually set the tracking force using this scale to 1.8 grams and tested with my scale. It came about 1.7 grams. Not bad at all. However, don't use this difference as a baseline. This would change from unit to unit. Get a scale. Please get a scale. Dust cover is renewable. Dust cover is removable, but I don't see a reason to remove unless you have space issues. The bottom line is that this is a fantastic record player at the entry level that pushes the entry level limits. I 100% recommend this unit. The only upgrade I would say is to use an external phono stage. Do not worry about upgrading the cartridge because the cartridge is very good. It is perfect for this setup and it's hard to beat. This is not one of those regular, you know, when you when you purchase an entry-level uh, turntable, they come with a um, cartridge which is actually cheaper than the bag it's packed into. This is not one of these. This is a very, very good cartridge. If you're looking for a complete system, Below are the items I used to test and you're more than welcome to come to our showroom and listen to these. Dual CS429, the turntable. Um, it retails for $899. Music Hall, a 15.3 integrated amplifier, which retails for $750. KLH Albany 2 speakers, these are bookshelves, retails at $449, and KLH Model 3 speakers, these are the little sister of KLH Model 5's acoustic suspension, $2,700. So either you go with KLH Albany 2 or Model 3, you will get yourself a delightful system for a fantastic price. 
Next video, I will talk about the thorns. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.